Hello friends, this is Odds, according to a verified Twitter journalist, and today I'm gonna be showcasing and just straight up stealing the builds from a few killer mains out there that are very good at what they do. We're gonna be having a look at Coconut RTS's Hunter's build. We'll also have a peek at Elix's uh, Hag build, and also Josh's uh, Scorpion's uh, pig build, all of which are very unique. And these people are so good at what they do. Josh is number one pick in the leaderboards. Um, Elix is number one hag in the leaderboards. Uh, Coconut, I think, is very close to number one and definitely one of the best hunters out there. That you, You'll notice that they have basically no gen slowdown and it's just builds that, for the most part, work because they know how to use their power. And it's, build that compl it's the kind of builds that complement um, the use of their power and let them show their skill. So, um, I'll be explaining um, how the builds work uh, as we head into the matches, but real quick. On uh, Josh, we've got Combat Straps, Shadow Syringe, the combo of Moitron Abuse and Whispers, Enduring and Brutal Strength, uh, his Guilty Pleasure perks. Uh, Coconut brings typically no add-ons whatsoever. Iron Maiden to reload faster. Barbecue and Chili to keep an eye on survivors. Bitter Murmur for a similar effect. And the Sneaky Blood Wordon. And on Elix's uh, side, we actually do have add-ons, very dirty ones, Strat Cicada, increasing the range, Rashi Shackles, making the drops invisible. And then the Wombo combo of Sloppy Butcher, Franklin's Demise, the Dark Devotion, and Nurse's Calling. And you'll see just how deadly uh, this one is. I'm gonna play them. Uh, we did this live on stream and show you how close I was or I was not to, to replicate in their success. You let me know what you think and do remember to check them out. There will be links to their channels in the description. Uh, all very lovely people. See you around. All right. Uh, this is a good map for us. I reckon it must be at least all right. Um, I'm going to showcase Elix's build. Uh, real quick reminder, Sloppy Butcher, slower healing, Franklin's, anytime you slap them, they lose their items. Uh, Dark Devotion, when we slap the Obsession, they're going to... Uh, Acquire a terror radius and we're gonna lose ours while we do that nurses calling will help us detect healing people So that's gonna be sweet uh, And that's it. We have add-ons to teleport further and The one that makes the trigger traps completely completely quiet and not emit a phantasm copy of us, so Yeah, we also brought a Mori because I've been told that Elix likes to run it I'll put this here in the corner so it's hard for the flashlight to disarm it. That's a tough one, dude. And if I was Elix now, I would be saying something really witty and really smart, but... <laughs> I'm not so charismatic. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I understand the, the, the simplicity of this build, and it's really cool that it doesn't have anything to slow down gens at all. Hack really doesn't need it all that much, if everything else is going well. But yeah, perhaps there are some quirks to it that I would need to pick up from watching you looks. Another thing that I could do real quick, by the way, would be a very evil one. Because there's no animation to start up. Because there's no animation to start up, you actually teleport even more immediately. Look at this. That's a key on the ground. With the uh, Rusty Shackles, your teleport, when they trigger the trap, is completely immediate. And it's really nasty stuff. So what I did now is make it so that I teleport with my mouse wheel down. And with mouse wheel down, I can kind of spam it. So if I anticipate that someone is about to step into a bear trap, sorry, into a... Ooh, nice one. Dark Devotion. That's great. So if I anticipate that someone's gonna step into my mud traps, I can just keep scrolling the wheel and do that. I'm gonna miss with him. He doesn't know that he's triggered that trap. Oh, there's another survivor here. Well, this didn't take long to fall apart. If he now goes for that board, I think he, they might be finished. I'm gonna still... That other claw that is pro was probably a bit confused there too. Another Dark Devotion. I'll set up this here. If they try to heal through Sloppy, which is hard, we might be able to catch them. Oh, that's a lot of value. He picked up his own key there. Solgar could have helped, but I guess nothing. They'll step onto one of these traps when I leave them alone. Another key for us. 
Uh, well, you can see what's going on now. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm gonna try not to maybe end it right here and get the hooks. <laughs> it's so good, it's pretty evil. You will not get treats and gifts in... during Christmas. I expected that hard. Ooh, that was a really good use of it. That's a shame he's about to step onto that trap, though. It's a good spinner. I'm gonna push him this way and she'll step onto the trap the other way. Or she'll go into the... Or she'll go into Shag where we have no business chasing. Sure. Is the Helix built? Yep. And... Well, I wanted to do a little Shulkus, but... Jesus. This was fast. Uh, where's Steve again? Oh, I love it. Yeah, it is pretty evil. Uh, the, the only thing about this that turns me off a little bit, the add-ons. These add-ons are so powerful. They are so strong. I would, I cannot see myself bringing these add-ons every day. Kaig is so strong without any add-ons anyway. Oh, would you look at that? That's the game wrapped up. I thought I might body block that. I'll break it. Bye bye, Rainbow. Take it easy. I haven't set enough traps around here, but she might step on one of these. If she picked up. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sloppy's hurting, isn't it? We got this. And. Bam. Without even lunging. Disgusting. Uh, now, much of that is just hack, but. Yeah. I guess the, I guess the items only help. Well, that's rough. There's actually uh, a fair debate whether or not the rush of shackles are actually super worth it. The thing about the rush of shackles is that, okay, you have a insta near instant teleport. That's good. That's undeniably good. It really messes with survivors. They also don't know when they've triggered a trap, so you can do like at the start and like mess with them a bit. Um. However, there's a drawback, and that's the fact that they do not have the, their camera swing. And sometimes you can use traps to really mess with survivors, you know? They go around the corner. If they're looking at the trap, then the camera doesn't do anything. But if they're not looking, then the camera immediately snaps. Uh, I forgot about Amori. He wasn't ready to be moored, was he? Yeah, I think they died too quickly. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Next time. Uh, but as I was saying, yeah, the, the, the camp swing part of the traps is gone. I would say that against a regular team, this add-on is nuts. Maybe against a competitive team, it's not the one you want to bring. We're gonna apologize real quickly. I like to see Repress Alliance there, by the way, that was cool. Zero skill needed with this build. Oops. What's something Illich would say? Period? Okay, I'm gonna hope that's not horribly offensive. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> okay. Alright. Let's have a look at Coconut's build. Um, basically a build to have auto reading from Bitter Murmur from Barbecue. And actually, some people forget from also from uh, Blood Water. Blood Water shows you the art of, of people at the Exigates if they make it that far. And the really nice thing is the combination of Iron Maiden and Barbecue. It means that people cannot really hide from afar unless they go behind generators. And of course, faster reload, blah, blah, blah. This is a build that you really shouldn't use as a beginner. I'm not quite a beginner, but I'm not. That came out so slow. I think this happens the first time I play Hunters for a little while. There you go. Mm -mm. A bit late for that. Uh, that hard will happen. And I think we're fine here. No need to use a hatchet if we have the guaranteed M1, I think. 
Uh, he is not chunky. That's just his... Uh, his outfit. Alright, so notice you have nothing to really help you out. Defending gents. But you do have powerful auto-reading perks. Unfortunately, Bitter Murmur and Barbecue overlapped a little bit there. That could have been a shot, though. I felt like I wasn't that far. One of them is here. Knowing the little gaps like that is an important part of this killer. Good stuff. Okay. We can put her in basement really quickly and maybe stay in the fight. Because they have to hurry up for that rescue. They are, they are absolutely killing it though. They're doing good. That person's getting rescued. Alright. Um... Do we want to try to pressure that person off the generator? I think I might try, yeah. Hold up. Hold up, we actually have a shot on them. <laughs> Damn it. That was lucky. She didn't really move around too much. Okay. We have a couple hatches left to see if this barbecue will give us something. Ooh. I think that one's a bit of a stretch, but... Maybe it could be them? They're behind that well, for sure. Let's interrupt them. Okay. If I had to guess, I would say they'll jump back to that generator. Barbecue again? I wanted to hit the side of the hitbox a bit. Okay. That was nice. That's the point of Bitter Murmur if you hadn't caught it. Okay. Uh, I don't really feel like we're winning just yet though. wasn't all that bad. Let's go for Kate. She's waiting around the corner. Okay, that was smart. We were a bit slow to, to follow up. They're both here! Okay. Uh, pretend I haven't caught on to her. Uh, took my chances there. That would have been a down for sure. If we hit her right. I think Kate's- I mean, Jake's coming for the rescue. You could maybe hit over the... Headbox. I don't think I'm good enough. Okay, first hook for her. We have a person in the distance doing a gen, presumably. Hold up. I think that that's something we might be able to hit. I think they reacted and got out of the way. No, they finished yelling. I don't hear them. Uh. Even if we don't hit them with a hatchet, you gotta realize that as a huntress, you have this never retracting, never interrupting lullaby that they hear. So anytime you try to creep up to survivors, even without spine chill or whatever, they're always gonna hide a little bit and get a head start on you. If you know where they're headed at least, that will cut your searching time quite a bit. Okay. Not sure what's the play here, but... Do you think they're caught onto my bitter murmur yet? Or not. <laughs> Fuck. We don't have all the manger yet, so... 
I, I'm not so sure I'm gonna hit them. You. That's good. You, in particular. Ooh, we almost got the hat trick. Uh, DS is gonna be a thing here, but that's okay. Oh, maybe not, never mind. I believe she might be dead. PT? I mean, barbecue? Um, maybe behind that generator. Oh! Oh! That was dirty. That was dirty. Did you see what happened? This man had adrenaline, that girl had a breakable, and then she used adrenaline. So, okay, dude. Now, typically, uh, I'm pretty sure Coconut doesn't really need Blood Warden to actually help him clutch it, but we might need the help we need to have from it. Alright, we definitely need it. This girl is... Did we hook her just now? I don't remember if we hooked her. I think not. This is bad. This is really bad. Uh, well played by them. GG's. Um... I couldn't M1 there. I think the M1 gave them too much distance. I had to use on my M2. Nice try. Yeah, they played around it well. And they just left, so they probably know what they're doing. Uh, wow, man. I think we got hit by... By two adrenalines at once. That was super convenient. Good teamwork. We hadn't seen that. If we somehow hit her, she would have also had Soul Guard. She just well played. Thank you. Uh, he tried though, that was a great match still. They probably enjoy the fact that they didn't really have to... sweat very much. I do find it very difficult with Hunter still to tunnel, like... Uh, to tunnel someone out of the game early. Uh, we still got the Junjin killed somewhat early after the Ronhawk, otherwise... Pfft, it would not be even that, GG. Oh dear, that's a fun one. Alright, so we're testing out uh, Scorpions, okay, Josh. Uh, he's his flagship build, which is really really interesting. Uh, the first combo is monitor and abuse and whispers. If you have monitor, your terror range is so small that by the time whispers turns on, you can actually crouch and they should never even hear you. Uh, this is a bit of a 3D map though, so I'm imagining it won't work quite the same. It's a nice little simple way of tracking survivors and using your stealth, which is hard to use otherwise as a pig without some perks letting you know. The idea is always to do what I just did, which is uh, not ambush, but instead crouch up and try to get a grab. I guess she let go last second because the grab didn't really happen. And that's it. Uh, monitor doesn't really help you all that much otherwise. And then the thing he really likes to do is to use his power in a chase like this. And honestly, this map is one of the best for this. Now, unfortunately, you need to be on the pallet itself for you to use your ambush. If they print off the pallet and the pallet is very safe, then you don't really do anything. And that's where Enduring and Brutal come in. Now, he says himself that he, you probably shouldn't run these perks. If he wanted to win, he, I think, would, cha would take out Brutal for, like, pop. Because the thing about Enduring and Brutal is that, I mean, they're nice perks and they feel good to use. It's a bit of an addiction, but they're not like the strongest, most impactful perks you could run. He gets away with it because of the slowdown from his perks and because he's a very good pick, mind you. But this is not a super try-hard build, as we've explained. Uh, my problem with Monitor and Whispers. Occasionally, you will have the, the cheeky Claudette that has... that has a spine chill. And if you try to approach a survivor with spine chill this way, you're gonna be very slow and they're gonna get out. Uh, there's also the spring burst here and there that will destroy you. Luckily for you, you can full spine chill. She took too long. 
If she were in a straight line, she would be fine. You can full spine chill by looking to the side. But you are very slow. You're not like Wraith. So you can't waste too much time checking generators without accurate information. A uh, high hike. Yeah, we might do something similar to that. You guys are generous today. Uh, Josh doesn't run add-ons all the time. If he does run add-ons, he typically runs the ones that I'm showing you. Uh, the first one is the combat straps. It makes you crouch up and down a little bit quicker. Um, that means that you get your ambush down faster when you move around the map and you crouch, you do it a bit quicker, which is always nice. And if the survivor's leaving the tile, you can also crouch up quicker and catch up to them, catch them maybe in the open before they make it to the next pilot. So it helps in more than one way. Oh dear lord. We are greedy, aren't we? If you see a survivor here, always let them drop before you hit. That way you don't need to go all the way down with them. You just pick them out of at the bottom. Hello, Joe. Thank you so much for the gift itself. Uh, as for your strategy with your boxes, I think it's very simple. Just anytime you down a survivor, put one up. Um, you don't want to save them for endgame. They're not quite as effective. There might be a situation where maybe you don't want to put them all out just yet if you down a lot of people. But if, you, if I have a situation where I have multiple traps active like this, I will... I won't even worry about gens, I will keep an eye on the white boxes a bit more. Uh, Is this girl dead now? Uh, She's not, right? Uh, Second hook. Are you doing- No, I'm not gonna do a strict with this build. If you do a strict with this build, your name is Josh, like... This is not a build that will give you consistent results, in my opinion. Because you're pretty much relying on the ability of your bear traps to delay the game. If you ever play against survivors that have a good map, or they call you out constantly, suddenly your perks are not quite as good. See, this is the kind of thing that's annoying against uh, as big, having to deal with people just pre-dropping pilots and you not getting to use your power. So this build really is very nice. It doesn't matter, she doesn't make distance. I see the medkit disappear, so I commit to the other side. When survivors vault windows and pilots, their medkits goes away. If I didn't see it disappear, I might have not been so sure about it and maybe continued going or stayed in the middle. Uh, yeah, we'll put her up there, I guess. Can we show us the two broken add-ons? I'll get to that. The other add-on that I haven't commented on is the Shattered Syringe. The Shattered Syringe is a... I mean, it's a good brown add-on. For what it does as a brown, it's, it's a decent brown. Uh, basically, if you miss your... your ambush... It has a shorter cooldown. It's not even by that much. It could honestly even be a bit better. But I'll show you what it's like. Oops, I didn't miss. Now this girl made the, the proper read. And she made a lot of distance. But she would have made even more. If I didn't have the Shadow Syringe, I would have been stunned for another fraction of a second there. Uh, from the top of my head, how much does the syringe save? Uh, I think it's 0 0.25 seconds. I think it's not even that much. But, eh, it, add up. it adds up, I suppose. And that distance means that she didn't make it to the pilot safely. Or maybe she didn't just camp to it, because she wasn't thinking straight, but yeah. So that's the add-ons. Uh, now, if you want to be uh, a nastier pig, you put a lot of slowdown perks on top of your slowdown power, and you bring the add-ons that will literally get you kills. Okay. This is insane. Which is the crate of gears, or bag of gears, the annotated plan, the purple one, and typically one of those with the tamper timer. And then, for, more often than not, you'll have one person die to their bird traps, which is not very fun and I think should be changed. And I didn't really understand this until Josh himself tested it with me. And yeah, it's really ridiculous. Watch Josh's channel. You can find him on YouTube as well as on Twitch. His name is Scorpions. So Scorpion with a Z at the end. He also made a very long one hour guide for the pig that breaks down a lot of things, including this build. If you want to have more in-depth stuff. He's also a super lovely person that I've met IRL. And he's only... Um, 
I mean, his only downside is that he's British, which is a horrible crime, but other than that, a very alright guy. I think we're gonna miss this. No, we gotta... We didn't really get to use the monitor and whispers all that much, but whispers is also good later on mid-match as a pig. You can sometimes try to look for survivors that are removing their bear traps and find them with whispers. At the end of the game, obviously, once you close a hatch, they will have a much harder time uh, opening an exit gate. It, it does come in handy mid-match as well, I would say. Uh, however, in an indoor map like this, not so much, because people could be in several directions. Here, for example, I know not to check around every corner. I know not to check in lockers, because I know there's no one here. And if I suspect they're on that gem, for example, and it turns on, then I can crouch. If I didn't if I didn't have monitor, they would have heard my turret radius for a little bit. I'm gonna look away to full spine shield, maybe. Oh yeah, this this was a bit of an unusual map to test as well. But hopefully you get an idea. Oh. Okay. Now, when you're in a situation like this, it's a 2v1, you can do something cool with whispers. Like, I know that he's not right next to him, because Whisper's still on. So I'm gonna try to triangulate where this survivor is. It's still off. Okay, survivor's over there. There you are. You see? That's how you use it. I was joking. Oh, you need to survive to get that archive, don't you? Let's find the hatch for you. <laughs> yeah, you need to get that, but you also need to live. If you die, it doesn't count. Let's find the hatch for, for this poor call that. Hmm. Oh, look at that, dude. So lucky. I think he didn't get it. Wait. I think he did. I hope so. She didn't finish it? Uh-oh. Well... She lives to try next time. As a viewer with awful internet, you Hi, look Vince. great in 360p. Mwah. Thanks. Uh, I think you guys are right. We might have whacked them a bit too quickly. Oops. Nah, she didn't. I'm sorry. Thanks for the perk I made. Thank you. Wow. Very kind. Go check out the 11-hour perk guide. <laughs> 